Do you sound like you're in an echo chamber on your Zoom meetings? Let me help you fix that. Hey everyone, welcome to Katie Fellinger Video. If this is your first time checking out my channel, it's nice to meet you, I'm Katie. And I have well over a decade of experience in professional TV and radio broadcasting in the top markets in the country. And I have expertise in do-it-yourself video creation, like what you're watching right now. So on this channel, I merge that knowledge base to share all my advice and tips at both the pro and DIY level of video production. So if that's something that interests you, consider subscribing for new content and you can also ring the bell to get notified when new videos post. Okay, let me know in the comments if you feel me on this. You're in a Zoom meeting where the person talking sounds hollow and really hard to understand because they've got poor audio quality, right? It's such a distracting and often frustrating thing to put up with, but a pandemic will of course force one to adjust. So let me help you make the most of your remote sound setup. I wanna take you through three options that I've used, how to set them up, and I'll also show you the difference in sound quality for each of them so that you can compare. Now, there's definitely a time and place for all of these, but make sure you stay tuned until the end because I'm going to share the best use case for each option, okay? So here are the three audio options that we're going to cover. I've got the built-in microphone on my laptop, I've got my AirPods, and then I have this professional quality microphone. This is the Blue Yeti mic. So let's test all of these out. I'm going to open a new Zoom meeting, and just by default, Zoom is going to tap into my computer speaker and the built-in microphone on my computer. So what you're hearing as I talk right now is my built-in computer microphone. Okay, now I'm going to switch to my AirPods. And as Zoom picks up my AirPod connection, you should hear the audio quality change, right? So this is how it sounds using my AirPods as my microphone. It's more reminiscent of the quality that you would get on a traditional phone call, right? And finally, I'm going to hook in my Blue Yeti microphone. And then once Zoom picks up that setting change, you'll hear a really obvious shift in the sound quality, right? It's much crisper. It's definitely more clear. So all three of those options work, but they each have their own pros and cons, which we'll get to in a minute. First, I want to walk you through how I adjusted my audio settings for each of these options. If you've never adjusted your audio in Zoom before, here's how. Down at the lower left-hand corner, you see a little microphone to mute and unmute yourself in a meeting. Just tap the arrow next to it, and that'll bring up a bunch of audio options. And then you can pick which device you want for both your microphone and your speaker. And you can mix this up. You know, you're not relegated to use your AirPods, for example, as both your mic and speaker. You could use your AirPods as your speaker and the computer as your mic, or any combination you choose. Now, I'll quickly show you how I connected everything to your computer audio should automatically be available unless you've got your computer audio turned off or that you've denied Zoom access in your settings. That should be ready to go as soon as you open a new meeting. For my AirPods, I need to make sure I've connected them to Bluetooth first. So at the top of my screen under the Bluetooth icon, I'll navigate to AirPods and click connect. Now they're connected to my computer. And when I go under my audio settings in Zoom, they'll be there as an option. And then finally, to connect my Blue Yeti microphone, I'll plug into the USB on my laptop. And by the way, I have to use this special adapter for the USB-C port since my MacBook doesn't come with a traditional USB port. And that's all the setup required. So this should show up in my audio options in Zoom now. Yep, there it is. So that's how you connect to these devices. You can take it a step further and double check that everything's working appropriately as well. So just go back into the audio menu in the lower left-hand corner, and this time click on test microphone and speaker. It'll ask you if you hear a ringtone first, and notice you can pick and choose which device you want to test at the bottom. And after I click yes, it'll prompt me to do a quick mic check. Mic check, one, two, three, four. Mic check, one, two, three, four. And then it'll replay that for me to make sure my microphone is working. Still with me? Let me know in the comments if this is making sense. 
Okay, I have one more thing I wanna show you in the settings. So we're gonna once more click that little arrow in the lower left-hand corner. And this time, I'll click audio settings at the bottom. This opens all my options for both my speaker and my microphone. I can adjust how loud they are using these slide bars. I can, again, test my devices, but I wanted to point out two specific settings. The first is this one, to suppress background noise. I have mine set to auto, which has worked well for me. But if you have have a particularly noisy space, lots of kids running around or traffic noise, you can adjust for that using this setting. Also, sometimes you want background noise. Let's say you want to start your Zoom session with mood setting music. In that case, you can set your background suppression to low so that Zoom will allow that music to come through. So some use cases here, you know, maybe you teach a Zoom fitness class and you want your students to be able to hear the beat. Uh, my daughter's preschool teachers actually played fun music to kick off their virtual circle time last year, you know, that kind of thing. So that's how you might be able to use this. And then the other setting that I want to show you is under advanced. So let's click through to that. It's right at the bottom of the audio settings screen. And here we have the echo cancellation option. Mine is again set to auto. But if you are in a big, open, echoey space, you may want to try the aggressive echo cancellation option, okay? So now you have a few ideas for both your speaker and your microphone setup. But before we wrap this up, I want to give you those ideas that I promised at the beginning for the best time to use each of these options. So let's start with your microphone choices. If you're using your built-in computer microphone, try to do so in a quiet, small space. The larger the room, the more it'll mess with your acoustics and lead to that echo effect that can be so hard to understand. Also, you want to be as close to the computer as you can so that your voice gets picked up effectively by the internal microphone. The AirPods microphone option is pretty universal. It's a great middle of the road choice. You'll get decent quality with minimal background ambient sound that could potentially distract people. But if your goal is high quality, crisp, clear microphone audio, I would use a different option. And certainly the professional microphone is going to be a great choice for that. You know, if you're on just a quick work catch up call, you probably don't need to pull out a pro mic. But if you're presenting to a group or doing an interview, a quality mic like the Blue Yeti is a great choice. Now, I have a link to this mic down in the description if you want to check that out. And by the way, I also have a few other videos with some tips on giving a virtual presentation using a script and how to look good on Zoom and any other video calls just in general. So I'll link to that playlist here and it's also below in the description if you're interested. Okay, next, your speaker options. The speakers in your computer do a great job and these will often be all you need to hear the other people in your meeting. But the AirPods or any other headphones are going to be a better choice in some cases. One of the most obvious is if you have a lot of background noise in your own space, headphones, earbuds, AirPods, any of them are going to help mitigate that. But here's another reason. If you need to record your meeting, it's a good idea to connect to something like the AirPods just so that your output from your speakers doesn't get picked up in the recording and cause some sort of weird echo effect. Make sense? So there you have it, a bunch of audio options and use cases for all of them as you go into your next Zoom meeting. Now, my next video is going to show you some smart production tips if you need to record your Zoom meeting and edit it later. So watch for that coming up. But guys, I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, do me a favor, hit that like button, share this video with someone who might find this helpful and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any new content. You can also ring that bell to get notified anytime a new video posts. Now, by the very nature of a pandemic, it's becoming even more business as usual to incorporate video into our daily work. So if you're interested in taking your video creation game to the next level, I'd like to invite you to check out my signature online course, The Video Production Project, which will be launching in early 2021. It's an all-inclusive masterclass that will take even the most novice video creator from point A to Z. I have a link below if you're interested in seeing what that's all about. And just one last thing I would love to stay in touch with you in between videos, so reach out to me. I'm on all the social platforms. I'm at Katie Failinger Official on Facebook and at Katie Failinger 
everywhere else. And I've got shortcuts to all of my pages below, as well as a link to join my crew. And I would love to hear from you. You can also check out my website, katiefailinger.com, to see everything else that I'm working on, like my book and public speaking and professional MC services that I offer. Meantime, thanks so much for checking out this video. Have fun testing out these audio options, and I'll see you back here soon. I don't need these shoes. Let me help you through. You guys aren't gonna see my feet anyway, right? Let me help you try to spit it out. Do you sound like a, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I'm barefoot right now. McFly. Okay.